Now then, hello everybody. Well, after last week's debacle, um, I decided to try what is hopefully an easier trig. Um, I weren't even coming to this one, I was going over to Boulderstone. But then I remembered there's one over at Wiltshire that keeps popping up. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, whiz over and have a look. I think it's about just shy of a three quarters of a mile to a mile. I'll spin you around. Yeah, it's up that hill over there. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it's not too taxing. Hopefully there won't be any fog beasts about coming to get me. Uh, yeah, got my woolly hat on. Got my backpack. Got my monkey in the backpack. So here we go. Make sure it's locked. Make sure there's no top seat so I don't have to come back. And off we go. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Ta da! Hello. I'm not sure whether I can actually see it. No, I think it's a bush. But uh, yeah, at least it's not raining. Nice and sunny. Is it reservoir? Yeah. Somebody's shooting over there, I can hear them. Must be a shooting range. Oh, I'll spin you around now. I think this is called Wiltshire Reservoir, I don't know. I get my uh, names mixed up. But uh, up top of that hill over there, that's where uh, I can't remember what it was called now, but we did one up there. I'll put it in, uh, I'll put it on the screen. I'll stick it on the screen. For us to have a look at when I remember. Now I'm looking for a public footpath again. I think it goes up through this farm. Up through there. But I'm not sure, as usual, I'm not 100% sure. It does look like it's up there behind that gate, but that might be a person, or it might be an optical illusion. I might be trig hungry, I might be trig starved. You know, like when you're in desert, you start seeing, oh, mirage, that's it. Might be a trig mirage. Because I'm trig starved because I've not bagged any for about three weeks. <laughs> what do I? Uh, what am I on? So I know it's up here off this up, up, off this lane, but it's whether I can get to it. So right, I'll see you in a bit. I'm a bit close. Nearly got run over by an Uber. What's that all about? The pedestrians have right away, my friend. Never mind, uh, you know, getting so close that I could see bloody hairs on your chin. Oh, it's a different story when you have an idea where you're going. I'm just going to uh, cross over here if I can without giving them down. No feeling. I watched a trig bagging video. I'm feeling. It's behind that wind turbine up there on that hill. So it's not a million miles away. Hang on. Up York Road. Now I watched a guy on YouTube. I can't I think he might be called Trig Bagger. But uh, yeah. And he was mis mispronouncing Wally as Wally to wind his wife up. But yeah, it's up there somewhere. I'm pretty sure they went up through, up, up through some trees behind that windmill and it's up there so I'll get anything out in a minute and have a look but yeah what a difference to last week eh now if you look carefully down there there's a persimmon site oh, what's it called something brook yeah I did all them windows in there yep well I didn't personally but yeah I've probably repaired every single one of them but uh, we won't go into that. Eh? Right, 
onwards and upwards. See you in a bit. Ta-da. Oh, I've got carry on my thumb. Oh, you can see them. I keep saying that, don't I? I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see that. Some geese. Canadian geese. I think. The brown geese, anyway. Maybe someone can tell me. Lovely view, though. Eh, what a difference a week makes. You know, I found that trig. I know exactly where it is now. My uh, cousin said she'd go with me. Um, but she's proper fit. I don't mean, like, sexy fit. Although she is. But, yeah, she's proper... She walks up Pendle about 15 times a day some days. And, uh, yeah. Let me me wobbling on behind her with me snot hanging out my nose and stuff oh yeah maybe i'll maybe i'll sneak and do it on my own and say oh thanks for the offer but uh yeah but i don't think she'd be like that i think she'd be waiting for me she might be a bit frustrated waiting for me but yeah she's not like that a lot of people have offered to do them with me but sometimes i just like to crack on on my own and do a bit more filming and uh, if you get lost it don't matter then does it well I suppose it does matter if you get lost proper lost but yeah it don't matter there's nobody relying on you to go the right way maybe I should be relying on them to go the right way so I'll get my app out again in a minute It's saying I'm not so far away, but it said that last time. I'll get me a part and I've probably walked straight past it. Oh, right, I'll see you in a bit when I've got me app out. Guess what? Yeah, I've gone the wrong way. I've, 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 I should have gone up through that farm. I don't know whether I can go through this field here. But I feel that's a bit cheeky. Let's have a look. There's a couple of gates. And they're locked. There's a foot, there's an house there though. Oh, why do I keep doing this? It's up there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's his land, whether it's farmer's land or what. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna have a look at my map again. <laughs> I knew I should have gone up that farm track. I'm just going to walk back down now, amble back down. I'm not going to be beat though. <laughs> I'm having another failure. I don't know. Why do they put these tricks in such inhospitable places? Why can't they just have footpaths up to them? I mean, how did they build them if there's no road up to them and stuff? It must have been a fair task that. Some of them are like 16 foot deep in ground, aren't they? The, the foundations are like 16 foot into ground to stop them eroding away. But uh, yeah. Anyway. At least it's a nice day and a nice view. Right, I'll see you when I get back to that farm. ta -da. And I'll tell you what, Mr. Trigbagger, if you're watching this, I should have watched your video a bit carefully, shouldn't I? Nearly got run over by a bike then as well. <laughs> oh dear me. At least they didn't shout at me. Right, see you in a bit, Tara. The elusive Wiltshire Moor Trig. Is it Wiltshire Moor? I don't know. That other one's called Windy Bank, the one that we went to a few weeks ago on that hill. I've just... Uh, 
I've just seen it on my map. Yeah, so yeah, it's up there somewhere. It's up behind them sheep. Up there somewhere. But you can't just walk across field, can you? You've got to go up past that farm track, up, and then cut across. I don't know. I set off right well, didn't I, with them first few tricks? It's getting a bit daft now. I'm running out of easy ones. Jumping over fences ones, I'm running out of them. Keep raiding them and uh, on me, uh, you know, trick finder page. Some of them will say, oh, just jump over the fence and you're there. Oh, I'm running out of them now. So, yeah, those donations will be uh, counted for me. Doing a lot more walking, I think. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But at least summer's coming. At least it's going to be light at night. It's going to be spring. Spring's the year, isn't it, nearly? Well, it feels like it today, but... It's supposed to snow next week, isn't it? We're gonna have a snow bomb! Snow bomb! Weather bomb! Snow bomb! Yeah. yeah so apparently, that's what's coming. So, watch this space. We might get one, we might not. But uh, we might get to this trick, we might not. But we better bloody hard, eh? Uh, how are we gonna do it? Uh, I thought, oh, I'll come and do a few, if you come and do a few. Easy one, this, easy. Just off of a quick footpath. Again. But, uh, yeah, maybe my spidey, sinks, maybe my spidey senses have all gone... Uh, what's it, haven't they? They've all gone funny. I don't know. It might be this hat. Do you think? When I have my other hat on, I seem to find them straight away. But, yeah. Behind that wind turbine. I might have to stop and watch that YouTube video that they made. <laughs> find my way up. He's <laughs> seen a bit, I don't know. <sighs> I'm still not right healthy. It's not getting any uh, easier. I've only worked up walked up a, a very slight incline. You see? That's where we are. And it's not windy either. That's a good sign, isn't it? Might be windy when we get a bit further up here, but... Hang on. That's the wind turbine. And it's over that way somewhere. Like I'm point, look at me pointing with camera. Like you can see where I'm going. Well, it's a nice view. Now, I'm thinking, we walk up this ridge. We walk up that ridge, and I think it's over there. That's the public foot, but public public footpath up that way. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my uh, app out because I've just walked about a mile out of my way. Look at that, like a mill pond. Wish I still had my jet ski. Could have razz around on there, couldn't we? Maybe not, be a bit cowed. Right, onwards and upwards again. Now then. You see? Spin you around, you can have a look around. Let camera catch up. That's nice up here. Now, let you find me. There we are. I'm thinking off Twig Bag's video, Twig Bagger's video, should I say? It's just over here. Just at top of this hill, so maybe I'll uh, take more notice in future of these other people's videos. Then I can go straight to it. I can see it. It's got barbed wire around it. 
Oh, magnificent. Oh, my trig mojo's coming back. I don't know yet. I'm gonna say it again. I don't know whether you can see this, but there it is. Barbed wire around it, bright white trig. Let's get up there, see if we can get around that barbed wire. If we can't, we'll just have to take some photos from outside. Because uh, I think we're a little way off the footpath. We don't want to be upsetting anybody, do we? Right, see you in a bit. Again. Well, they said it was a good view from up here, and it is, it's cracking. Oh, yeah, what a lovely, uh, yeah, it's well worth getting up here. I enjoyed it eventually. It's nice when you get up, when you, uh, when you actually get somewhere. Instead of going the wrong way all the time. Oh, sun's behind me now, look. Nice one. Right, I'm going to, uh, might head off to another one or I might just go and uh, edit this video. So, right. Thanks for watching. Please uh, donate if you can. Um, and if you can like the YouTube channel or like it on Facebook or subscribe or, you know, whatever uh, whatever you can, it, it does help. I think the last video got 85 views, which we don't usually get in like three months, so I don't know whether it was because I was lost on the mowers, uh, mowers, 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 whatever. Yeah, I don't know whether people just like watching that stuff, watching people get lost. I don't know, but uh, yeah, we'll see, won't we? Maybe just more people are watching them, which would be grand if they were. So, right, I'm going to uh, sign off and I'll see you all soon. I'll see you when I get back to Vanny. ta -da.
Hello, hello. <coughs> hello, 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 hello. Yeah, uh, I want two tax in really, apart from going the wrong way as usual. But uh, yeah, what a, what uh, a nice trick that was. <laughs> Listen to me. But it was a really nice view, really cracking view up there. It weren't too taxing. I didn't get lost. I didn't worry for my life, which is always a good thing, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so that's another one done. So that's number 19. I was going to uh, go and do 20. I might still do. You might find out that I've done 20 on my way from this one. But, um, yeah, I've got things to do. I wanted to wash my van, but I'm not... I hate washing cars and vans. I really do. I'm not one of these people who likes, you know, spending hours washing and polishing. Her. But uh, it does need doing. You've got to look after it, don't you? You've got to look after stuff or else uh, don't last. So, yeah, I've uh, just, uh, that was, I think it was Wil Wiltshire Moor, I think it's called. Wiltshire Moor, back of uh, Parsonage Farm. So, yeah, nice, like, like I say. Nice little walk up, not too taxing, not too uh, frightening. No fog beast, which is always good. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you there. Um, you might see another one this weekend. You might not, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. If you can donate, please. Um, and you know, even if it's just a quid, it all goes to the uh, Pendleside Hospice. You can find the link on Facebook if you. I don't know I'm allowed to do that, am I? You can find the link on Facebook if you look for Ian's Trig Bagger page. It should come up on that, but I will put a link in if you want to donate. Um, yeah, thanks very much, everybody. See you soon. Love you, bye.